Hello, everyone. I'm reading you a book today. The title of our book is Jill Learns the Rules. It is level E. The author of our book is Emily Weinberger, and it is illustrated by Todd Gardner. This is the front of our book. This is the cover. On the cover, we have a picture of Jill, and look, she's, it looks like she's sitting behind her desk thinking about a checklist or maybe the rules. Let's begin. Page one. Jill is new at school. Her new school has rules. Jill does not know the rules. Mrs. B is Jill's teacher. She helps Jill learn the rules. On page one, we have a picture of Jill standing next to Mrs. B, and it looks like they're standing in front of their school. Page two, Jill runs in the hall. She falls down. Why does Jill fall down? On page two, we have a picture of Jill, and it looks like she's falling in the hallway. She's running in the hallway, and she's about to fall down. And I think the reason she's about to fall down is because she was running. Page three, we walk in the hall. When we walk, we are safe. That is the rule, says Mrs. B. On page three, we have a picture of Jill and Mrs. B looks like she's explaining the rules to Jill. Page four, Jill takes Sam's pencil. She does not ask Sam to use it. Sam gets mad. Why is Sam mad? On page four, we have a picture of Jill and Sam and they're both at their desks and Jill is reaching over in Sam's cup and taking his pencil. And Sam is mad because Jill did not ask to use his pencil. Page five, we ask to use something. We ask before we take things. That is the rule, says Mrs. B. On page five, we have a picture of Mrs. B and she's pointing at Jill and explaining the rules to her. Page six, Jill talks when it's Cora's turn to talk. No one can hear Cora. Why can't anyone hear Cora? On page six, we have a picture of Jill and she's next to Cora and two other kids. And the other kids do not look very happy. Cora does not look very happy because no one can hear Cora because Jill is talking over her. She's not taking her turn. Page seven, we take turns talking. Raise your hand if you want to talk. That is the rule, says Mrs. B. On page seven, we have a picture of Jill and Cora, who Cora does not look very happy, and Mrs. B is explaining the rules to Jill. Page eight, Jill wants a turn on the slide. She tells Julia to get out of the way. Julia is sad. Why is Julia sad? On page eight, we have a picture of a playground, and Jill and Julia are standing in front of it. Jill looks happy, but Julia does not. Julia is sad because Jill is not taking turns. Page nine. We have to be nice to others. We use nice words. That is the rule, says Mrs. B. On page nine, we have Julia and Jill, and Mrs. B is explaining the rules to them, and they're standing in front of a playground. Page 10. Jill does not listen to Mrs. B's directions. She draws a picture instead. Now she does not know how to do her work. Why doesn't Jill know how to do her work? On page 10, we have a picture of Jill with her hands up. So Jill doesn't know how to do her work because she did not listen to, to directions from Mrs. B. Page 11, we listen to the teacher. Listen to adults so you hear the directions. That is the rule, says Mrs. B. On page 11, we have a picture of Mrs. B and she's pointing at Jill who's behind her desk explaining the rules to her. Page 12. Now Jill knows the rules. She will follow all of the rules now. Thank you for teaching me, Mrs. The rules, Mrs. B, says Jill. Jill looks happy and Mrs. B looks happy as well. The end.